What's up guys, my name is Daryl Williams and welcome to vlog 6. So today I'm giving you a tour of my very own apartment here in New York City, more specifically in the East Harlem neighborhood. My wife and I live in an overpriced studio, but we love it a lot and we're moving soon so I thought it'd be worth giving you a tour to see where I've lived for the last two years. Let's go. As we enter the studio, we have a little foyer area, which is nice because most studios when you walk in, you're just like right in the living space or right in the kitchen, but you have a little reprieve right here with a closet across where you can see all the things inside. We put a little coat rack here, some hooks in the wall, then we have a shoe rack which sucks. And then right here, the key hooks come going in and out all the time and always need to grab the key. But this is a really great entrance way. And then from here, we have bathroom to our left, the kitchen, the living room, and area, which I'm gonna take you on a tour on. So right here, we have the bathroom, which is pretty large. Um, in most of the apartments, the bathroom is not super big. And what's very important to me, which I like in this bathroom, is the toilet and the bathtub are a good distance apart. That is very important for me. I'm, I might be weird, but if that's the same thing for you, let me know in the comments below. Um, so, large sink, a lot of storage space under the sink, rainfall, shower head, all over. Everything you need in the bathroom. I don't know what else I need to tell you about that. So next we have our awesome kitchen, which is really great. Again, it's a real kitchen in the studio apartment, not a kitchenette. So one of my favorite features is actually something that didn't come in the kitchen. Is this artwork on the wall of a guy playing the guitar. I actually took a photo of that and blew it up, edited it and everything. I'm selling it if you're interested. But um, so yeah, so this is our kitchen, all stainless steel appliances. We have lots of counter space because we have a lot of appliances that we use to bake with. We got our blender, water boiler thingy, food processor, juicer. I make green juice every morning right here on the counter. And we have a five burner gas stove, which is pretty awesome. Full size appliances, by the way. It's not the apartment tiny dishwasher and tiny stove, but everything is full size. And then from across the kitchen, we have our lunch room, which I am not gonna open because I'm sure you don't wanna see dirty clothes. All right, so follow me into the living space. So this is the living slash dining space that we're in now. Here is our little dining nook where we very rarely actually eat at. Maybe every once in a while, most of the time we eat right here in the living room at our coffee table, which, watch this. You've probably seen one of these, right? It's a little top. So I right here you eat comfortably while you're watching TV. Now, obviously the best feature of this entire apartment are these floor to ceiling windows that we have right here. So much light all day, every day. Actually, it glares so much when the TV's actually kind of annoying us in the But, it's great light. And this is a full-size couch, an L-shaped couch, that you can actually fit in the studio space. And we still have so much space left in the apartment, which is super awesome. By the way, if you have not yet, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Share it to your friends, your family, and your grandmother. Now, I'm about to take you to where the magic happens. I can't believe I just said that. And now we're in the sleeping area of the apartment. Now, if you haven't guessed it, we used the couch to do the separation of space, which worked out perfectly, and kind of left this little entrance into the sleeping area. So here we have my wife's on which is a monster of a thing. It's IKEA. It takes like two hours to put this together. Bips, how long did it take us to put this together? I think it took one. The table took like three. Yeah, it, it took a long time um, to put this together. Nonetheless, it's huge. I won't open it because you're lost up in there. But this is the armor, which again fits great in the space, and we still have so much space left in the apartment and in this area, which is awesome. Now, behind me, I know you noticed the guitar and the ukulele on the wall and the amp. This is my wife's stuff. She's a musician if you haven't guessed it already. Um, so it, it kind of nicely spruces up the apartment and gives us some more character in this area. Then here is the full-size bed, but you can hold a queen and probably a king in this apartment if you wanted to. Because again, you have so much space still. And then across is this mirror, which I love so much. It costs a lot of money. I'm going to have it forever. That's all I have to say about that one. And then my closet, if you follow me over here, which again, for a studio apartment, it's pretty large. Um, honestly, this is just my stuff. Again, other stuff over here is my wife's because she takes up her armor and half of my closet space. I'm a minimalist, I don't have much stuff. But this closet is not very neat right now, so you don't really need to look at that for too long. So 
So this is the this is the studio apartment. It's about 530 square feet. You still have the floor to ceiling windows in the sleeping area as well. So you can hit the beam of light when you're trying to wake up in the morning, which is pretty great to get you up and going. The apartment itself is pretty great. So much space that two people can comfortably coexist as my wife and I do in this space. But next, I'm gonna take you up to the roof so you can check out the outdoor space as well. Follow me. Here we are on top of the roof of the building. It's one of the three outdoor spaces that the building does provide to its tenants. So this one is like the roof, is what I call it. There's really no furniture up here except for these two chairs that you probably can't see right now. They're not worth looking at. Um, and then we have an eighth floor terrace which has fake grass, um, chairs and tables decked out, which that's used most by the tenants. I like to come up here sometimes to work out in the morning because it's quiet and less likely to have foot traffic. But also you get a great view city all around Harlem, down to South Harlem, to Midtown, which is a great, awesome view. Now let's go to the other terrace and show you what that looks like. Behind me is the 8th floor terrace, which is the one that's furnished with fake grass and tables and chairs. It's a great view, it's pretty large. Like I said, this is what the tenants use the most. I'm up there quite often as well. Actually, I use a lot of the outdoor space pretty often because I don't want to go to parks. And it's like, why do I go to parks when I have outdoor space in my apartment? But the building is great, roof outdoor space is great. I would show you the gym one, but the gym is closed, so I can't even show you that. But this is my overpriced NYC apartment. This is what I'm paying for. Three terraces, a gym that I can't use, 25, 85 a month, a little over 500 square feet. Welcome to New York City. Let's go.